All right, guys, we haven't pulled it out yet. Hopefully, there's more to it. Oh, it's just a chip. You can see where they've chipped away at it, but it's definitely part of something. So we're gonna keep searching here and hopefully find something else. We literally walked about two more minutes and we found one. Kendall hasn't seen it yet. See if she can find it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's big guys. Let's have her pick it up. Oh my goodness. Look at the stripes on it. First time in hundreds and hundreds of years this has been moved. Well, I mean, I guess besides tractors. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful, you guys. Definitely some sort of scraper. Let's check it out. <laughs> chart check that out right there it's been worked on i was like eh and then i look over here and look at this <laughs> Mine. Oh, I can already tell y'all this is gonna be a good one if the tip's there because it's so long and skinny. Oh, oh. oh. oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it was like an inch and a half in the ground. Oh my god. Check that is a spear. I have never seen one from this area like this. Oh. I've seen them wide, but I've never seen them so narrow. Guys, that is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and she found it. Yay. You can see it's, it's. I mean, it's completely worked. It's completely worked. There's the notch where they would have tied it to the stick or the whatever, antler. Golly. That is incredible. Incredible. While we're walking, we always look for these drains in the field, as you can see. All the way up through here where rocks and everything else kind of gets stuck. <laughs> Kendall's gonna show you exactly how we walk, how fast we walk, and what we're looking for. Let's do this. Okay, so we walked to the top of the drain, or I should say where it starts, and Frank and I will both just take a scythe and walk really slowly and looking for any signs of artifacts. We went to the next drain because we didn't find any arrowheads in the last one. And like always, we were walking to the start of it and we found another artifact and I lost it. Is Hold it, on. It. Oh, you see it? See it. Kendall's gonna point it out. Oh, there it is. Check it out. We recently found out that Nala is an American dingo, um, so that means she's one of the only native breeds to America, so her ancestors could have been pets to Native Americans. Nala, look. Look. What is that? Did your grandpa make it? <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Nala, what is that? <laughs> All right, you want to do the honors? Yes. Oh. Wow. It's beautiful. Look at that. Did you just step on it, boy? Boy, move your foot. Move your foot. Go, boy. Move. Oh, my gosh, you stepped on it again. <laughs> All right, so we found something. Nelson claimed it. Nelson stepped on it. It's broke. Let's pull this out. There you go. So it's definitely a chip. I think it might actually be a midsection to an arrowhead, but we're going to have to wash it off to find out. And there's a little chip right here. I'm gonna grab it here. You can tell it's a chip because all chips are gonna have that little bubble look where they popped off the host rock when they were chipping away trying to make these arrowheads. And right over here, this was one of the rocks that they would have carried in here because no rocks like this are native to this area. They actually would have hauled them from like 40 miles north of here and brought them down here and made arrowheads. We've been hunting this little area right here and we've found so many chips. These were all worked. They're not actual arrowheads. What they are is the scraps as they worked a big piece down. Native Americans would use these pieces later on 
to make smaller bird points. Hey, girl. Check that out. So what we know is that there were definitely a ton of Native Americans in this little area. And if they're that big, then it was usually a camp. So what we're going to do is we're going to hunt this drain. And I can almost bet we'll find something. We're going to do some live shooting here. I can already see more chips. There's one right there. And there's another one right down here. Isn't this pretty? It's really bright red. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah. See that? There's another one right here. They found something. Oh. It's a it's chip. A really pretty chip. That's really pretty. Look at that orange. Wow. There's another big one. <laughs> Ooh, there's part of one right there. It's missing the tip. Check that out. It's got the, the back is worked, just missing the point. Pretty color. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. We knew we were going to find one here. It's just a matter of time. So we made it all the way, almost to the end of the drain. And I stopped and I looked over and look at this, y'all. Again, like usual, you're missing the tip or one part of it at least when you're in a field like this, but check that out. That is crazy. It's how it is sometimes, but look at that. That is super cool. Wow. We were in Southeast Missouri hunting for Native American artifacts. We were headed back to the car because we have to go to Arkansas tonight. And guys, we just stumbled on something amazing. Check this out. Oh my God. <laughs> You can see the base right there, but I can already tell, even if it's not whole, look at that pattern. So Kendall's gonna pull it out. Yay. Oh my gosh, look at this find. You guys, we are full-time campers traveling the US finding amazing gems and minerals. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow us on our journey.